During the next few minutes, we will show you how simple it is to install floor heating using DFE's electric heating mats. DFE has a wide range of products to suit your need for electric floor heating. Start by drawing a line around any objects where you do not need to install the floor heating. Make a drawing of the room and calculate the area where you need the DOV heating mat. Remember to deduct the areas under cupboards, on the floor and under the toilet. Choose a mat that is slightly smaller than the area you have measured. DOV's heating mats are available in various sizes, ranging from 1 to 12 square meters. Before starting the installation, read the enclosed installation guide carefully. A groove to take two plastic conduits for the cold tail and the sensor is made in the wall, leading from the floor to the electric socket outlet. Fix the tube securely. Tape up the end of the conduit containing the floor sensor with strong tape. Place the plastic conduit for the floor sensor in the groove in the floor and lead it up to the socket outlet. Place the plastic conduit for the cold tail in the wall from the socket outlet to the floor. Clean the floor from all sharp objects and wipe away the remaining dust on the floor with a moist cloth. Prime the floor with a primer approved by the manufacturer for electric floor heating. Use the drawing you made in the beginning to calculate where to start laying the mat. It is important that the sensor tube is placed exactly in the middle between two of the red heating cables. Remove the protective plastic wrapping from the heating mat Start as close to the socket outlet as possible. Place the mat on the floor with the adhesive side downwards. The black cold tail from the end of the mat is led to the socket outlet through the conduit in the wall. To reduce the height of the cold tailed connection, you can make a groove for it as well. Fasten it with hot melting glue. To get around obstacles like drains or toilets, you can loosen the cable from the mat and glue it to the floor with hot melting glue. Just make sure that the cable is not damaged by screws or other objects drilled into the floor later. When you reach the wall, cut the grey mesh of the mat and turn it in the desired direction. Do not cut the red cable. The heating mat must not be shortened. You might like to test how you want to lay the DV heating mat. Adjust it so you get the optimum distribution. The self-adhesive effect can withstand 10 to 20 adjustments, so you can move the mat several times until the adhesive effect reduces. And remember, the heating mat must not be shortened. Spread a molding compound over the mat with a rubber filling knife. Make sure that the heating mat is completely covered and that there are no air pockets. The compound has to be approved by the manufacturer for electric floor heating and free from sharp objects. A layer of tile adhesive is applied and the new tiles can be laid. If you use DiviMat 100 and DiviReg 550, you can also lay a wooden floor on top of the heated floor. To control the floor heating, you must install a thermostat. We recommend the DiviReg thermostat with floor sensor which interacts 100% with the Divi heating mat. This will give you a quick and efficient method of regulating the floor heating. The sensor for the thermostat is led into the conduit tube. An authorized electrician must carry out the connection of the thermostat. You now have a new, elegant tile floor, which will give you a pleasant, comfortable floor temperature. We hope DV will bring more luxury into your home.